Yo, what's up my people? Welcome back to the Furman Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. Nine games in, we're currently 8-1. You can see Oklahoma State is the number one team in the nation. And Oklahoma is number two. Houston is the third. So we're currently ranked number eight. We're trying to jump into that top five spot. And we will be facing Georgia State this game, baby. We're trying to get into a BCS Bowl once again. So you can see prestige doesn't matter in the polls. If you're winning, you're winning. And your team rating don't even matter either. So check out our stats so far this season. Robbie Clark, 13 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Not great. 2,600 yards. Last game, he was pretty good. 12 for 16, 186, no touchdowns, but no interceptions. And Rowley has 663 yards on 128 carries, 14 touchdowns, man. He's on the verge of breaking the single season record, which is 19 touchdowns. He's only five away. We have three more games plus the championship game and the bowl game. So he may get that record, man, I believe, very quick. And Robinson stepped up, man. Ever since my boy Williams been down, he had 640 yards on 30 receptions, five touchdowns. He was a deep threat for us those last few games. Just going off, going bonkers. So we signed a couple of guys, man. Marcus Bratton, man, an athlete. 65 overall. I believe he's a defensive end, man. Because he's not that fast, he has a 69 speed. And he can catch pretty well, so he might be a tight end. A tight end, a defensive end. We might put him on both sides of the ball. You never know. Let him play both. And we also picked up Matt Welsh, you guys know, a tackle. So we're going to be looking to, you know, fill out the rest of this roster by the end of the season. So now let's check out this game upcoming against Georgia State. They're currently 5-3, and 2-3 and three in the Sun Belt. And this team prides itself on defense. One thing they do well is stop the running game. So we're going to try to run the ball. If not, we're going to take a shot at that pass. And we're going to take a shot at that secondary because they're not the best team at defending the pass offensively they they're not that great either but they have one of the best quarterbacks in the conference in Irby Irby is a 92 overall you can see the talent gap between him and his teammates Jay Sparks is next up with 84 and they have a lot of guys out on the defense two outside linebackers in their offensive tackle Hayes he's done for the season with a broken collarbone so we out here, baby, in the purple and black, man. It's a beautiful day, a beautiful day in South Carolina. We're going up against the Georgia State guys, man. These Panthers has been one of the most surprising teams in this dynasty. They rebuild pretty well. They was having a hard time those last few seasons, especially at the beginning of this dynasty. These guys were just doormats, but now they're competing. And you can see they have a nice guy, Neil, a big, big wide receiver who just fumbled. <laughs> I'm talking good about him, but he fumbled. And the booth will review that play. Seemed like he probably was down, but hey, if we can get a turnover to start the game, we'll take it, baby. We'll take it. So you can see right here his elbow did hit the ground first. And I believe they're going to overturn this play. And they do overturn the play, and these guys will get a shot at getting some points on the board first. So Irby is out here, man. Looking forward to see what he can do today. And look at Johnson. They didn't tell us about this running back who was running crazy on us. Doing exactly what we was scared of is running the ball, man. So Irby is back out here once again. Taking his time. And he finds Foster. And that was a nice grab, a nice pass. The patience Irby has in that pocket. You can see this guy is experienced. And Johnson, you will not get anything on that one. That's a negative three-yard rush. So second and goal here, Irby feels the pressure, and he cannot get rid of the ball. And my boy McCutcheon is on top of him, man, the former linebacker of the year. And Johnson goes up the middle, man, trying to get something. He got eight yards, but not enough. So the defense stood tall there in the red zone. And we forced these guys to a field goal, and they will walk away with three. So there go the man, the myth, Robbie Clark, man, the senior, one of the best players in Furman history. He's coming out here. He's going to try to show out today and let these fans know, hey, it's our last go round, but we're going to do something. We're going to ball out, baby. So, my boy Riley, man, we're going to try to run the ball. Like I said, this is a pretty good run defense that we're going up against, but we're going to force these guys to stop us. So, you got my boy Robbie out there 
Finding Anderson. Anderson breaking tackles, man. Giving us 10 yards. That little guy is pretty scatty, man. I like it. I like it. And we're going to get it to him again. But he take a big hit. And he drops that one. So third and 10. We're going to have to get something going. And you know Robbie. Trying to find Day his favorite target. One of his favorite targets. And not able to get that first down. So we're going to have to settle for a field goal also. And our first field goal is no good, man. I wish we could have convert. That would have been great for us. And Johnson is back out here once again running this ball with the heart that he has, man. He put his head down, his nose down, and go at it. So a nice little option there. Irby kicks that thing to Neil. And Neil, oh, my goodness. He almost fumbled on the first play of the game on that kickoff return, but he's redeemed himself with that play there. So they got the trust factor back up for that guy. So they're going to get him a little more involved. So a nice stop there from the defense, and it's second 11, and we're going to try to get a stop. And Irby takes a shot, and he finds Neil. Like I said, man, that trust is built up against for um, Neil. He's going to be getting a lot of targets this game, and Irby is not smart enough to get the ball out of his hands, and we get that sack. And we're going to have another chance to get something here late in the first quarter, but nothing is there on that first carry for us. And at the top of the second, my boy Robbie Clark throws a bonehead pass across the middle to the linebacker. He ate that one up, baby, like Pac-Man. We did exactly what he wanted us to do. You can see he sat on that one and jumped the route and got it. So these guys have a chance of scoring. They can go up by two scores here. And Johnson is not allowed to get anything on that carry. So Irby, a nice pitch to Johnson. And Johnson is not allowed to get anything on that one either. A negative four-yard rush there and we're gonna be trying to get a turnover here and Irby throws one to the back of the end zone we had two dbs there so great defense to stand once again we put the defense in harm's way that time but they stood tall for us and the field goal was missed that could have been easily six points for this team but they gave it up they're leaving points on the board and we're gonna take a shot and oh my goodness double coverage come on robbie we talk so good about you baby don't nut up in front of us let's go so across the middle once again he is choking early in the game come on robbie baby find your tight end just like you did there and we can move the chains. We got to get your confidence back up. And we're going to get this thing to Riley. And Riley, oh man. If he can hit that second gear, it takes him like five or six yards to get that second gear. And Robbie kicks that one over there today. That's what we were trying to do early in the game to get that first down. But we got it there. So Robbie with it again. Kicks that thing to Branch. A little, little thrown inaccurately. But he still pulled it down. And Robbie rolling this time. See what he has. Oh, he finds Jones. And Jones. Puts his head down, almost gets the first down, but it's fourth and inches. A big stop for the defense, but we're going to go with a quarterback sneak here. Up the gut, and Robbie, oh, you can't stop him once he gets going, baby. Five yards, that was easy for us. So Robbie back with it once again, kicks that thing to Robinson. Oh, nice little back juke, baby. Robinson, okay, I know what time it is now. His first reception, we're going to go at him once again, bro. Go back to Robinson, and you already know what time it is. Touchdown, baby. 215 plus yard receptions back to back and Robinson helped my boy Robbie get out of that phone that's what I'm talking about so look at Robinson between two defenders Robbie plays it right there that's an NFL quarterback for you so here in the second quarter my boy Robbie back down here with a play action play and he going back to Robinson you know once these guys get going it's hard to stop them so a nice pass but wasn't able to get it in a great defensive play and look at that boy Riley he's running baby Riley 15 yard rush that dude has some swift hips baby he can get in and out of tackles and go so five yard reception there from Jones Jones been doing some great things for us and look at Robbie he going at Robinson you already know what time it is when Robinson is out there on them fly routes 26 yards baby let's go so Robbie back with it once again gets that thing to branch a perfectly placed pass there and it's 12 yards on that reception and we're moving so Robbie with it once again gets that thing to Robinson again the same play yo between two defenders Robinson is pulling it down taking hits and doing exactly exactly what it takes and look at Robbie takes a shot back of the end zone Anderson the little scatty guy bro check it out bro check out the little scatty guy man he did that one bro ran a perfect route Robbie placed it right where it's supposed to be and he ballerina catch that thing 
in the back of the end zone. Beautiful play. So finally, the offense gets going. And at halftime, we are up by 11 points. Hey, Robbie did exactly what we asked of him those last few drives. The passing game got going. And the running game did pretty good also. So Robbie back out here in the third quarter getting Branch involved once again. You can see we passed the ball twice as much as we ran the ball because we know we're going up against a great run defense. But we cannot abandon the run. So you can see right here, my boy Raleigh. Oh, that's a face mask. Big boy club, my dude. So we're going to get that personal foul, face mask, whatever you want to call it. It's hurt. It hurt my boy. He about ring his neck. So let's go. Jones is in motion right there. Gets that thing to Riley. And Riley reading blocks. But he trips up behind our Randy Tudor guy, whatever you want to call it. And forced us into only a three-yard gain. But Riley is continuing, putting his head down, going forward, giving us some positive yardage. And Anderson, I meant Alexander, didn't get anything right there, man. So we're going to go with a field goal. Put us up by two possessions. 14 point lead here in the third quarter and Irby is back out here with an empty backfield set He finds Watts there and Watts is not uh, allowed to get much going there But we're gonna keep it moving so Sanchez gets the pressure on him and Neil gets another grab big boy That dude is huge. I know he at least like 6'5 and he, he can catch he can run a little bit too so Johnson back with it once again a nice six yard rush second and four here so we cannot get much pressure on Irby on this drive and he finds his running back out of the backfield but a big hit from my boy McCutcheon we're gonna start sending some linebackers and Irby with a nice read option he's gonna keep it here oh my goodness come on how we missed out on him but McCutcheon able to save us there with the chase down tackle and out of the gun is Irby once again what, what was that, man? He broke that tackle. He looked like that dude ran into a brick wall. So 11-yard reception, a beautiful pass. But that's what happened when the talent levels are that much different. He's a 92 overall. You know, this game loves loves to glitch out when he gets some high overalls. So Irby runs that one. Almost breaks a tackle, but a beautiful tackle at the legs, bro. Go at his legs. If you can't square up and hit him like a man, take his knees out. And they go Irby once again. Takes a hit, and it's a fumble. Can we get it? Not able to get it, and Sanchez on a beautiful sack there. Forced these guys to fourth and goal, and they will settle for another field goal. They missed one earlier, but this time they will not miss it. So we back out here on the next drive, baby. And look at my boy Riley. <laughs> Making a miss. Making them not even juking, just planting and cutting, bro. You can see it. Breaking tackles, doing exactly what is necessary to get a victory. And Thomas, first time I see him getting the ball all game, and he runs up the middle, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to run the ball to sit on this lead and try to walk away with another victory here in the Sun Belt. So it's still the third quarter. A lot can still happen with a lot of time on the clock, but we're running the ball pretty well, man. Very methodical. The offensive line is in a groove, and we're moving. But David Thomas gets stopped in the backfield here on first down. So on this third down, we're going to have to get some yardage, baby. He launches that one, and Branch had it in his hands, but he dropped it. He is not Robinson. Robinson would have held on to it. You already know it. So Robbie is rolling. He's going to take a shot deep. And look at the arm, and he caught another one. But they're going to call it an incomplete pass. That was a beautifully placed pass, Rob. Look at that thing rocketing. I know he got one foot in, but hey, they wouldn't give it to us. So we're going to keep moving. That was a beautiful pass, man. We're going to chunk it up as a touchdown in our books. And whoa, 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 Hogan. You can't hit the quarterback like that, boy. Not in the NFL. You got to call that down. You're going to get fined, bro. You're going to get fined. And look at Cantrell with a nice grab. He got up there and got that one and kept it going for these guys. This is another first down. And... These guys are landing alone to Irby. Irby is hating South Carolina right now. He is not wanting to revisit this place again. And Johnson gets a nice grab there. It's going to be 31. Let's see what they can do here. They're probably going to run the ball. You already know. And Johnson holds on to it. But we put that thing on them, bro. Them DBs be hitting on this team, bro. I'm telling you. We got some hard-hitting DBs. And Singletary up the gut. No way you're going anywhere. You can't go anywhere against us. So, Robbie is still in there. We're running the ball. We're trying to get something established here. So, we, we, we're trying to get another score, man. So, we can ice this thing. And look at Robinson across the middle. 
doing his thing, man. That's 220 yards passing for the team. And look at my boy Anderson. They try to take my boy a touchdown away. You know he scored two touchdowns this game. But we're going to get him one. We're going to try to get him one on this drive. And look at Robbie sitting on it. Gets that thing today. And whoo we That linebacker laid my boy Day out. My boy Day ain't too big. But he going to have to, you know, absorb those big hits. And it's another big hit on my boy Day. So it's fourth and three. And we're going to go for it. So Robbie drops back. Gets that thing to Riley. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's veteran leadership. Knowing when someone's going to be open. And he put the ball in the right spot at the right time. And look at Riley. He gets it to him once again. Look at those blocks looking beautiful out there. And we get down inside the 10-yard line. It's first and goal. And let's see if Riley can get another pass TD. He throws that one across the middle. And Dennis, Steven Dennis, gets his first touchdown of the game. Probably his first of the season. That's what I'm talking about. Robbie putting those things on the money, baby. If Robbie wasn't having a hard time with interceptions early in the season, I believe he could have been a Heisman candidate. You can see 280 yards passing, three touchdowns, one turnover. Hey, he had a hell of a game, baby. Last week, no touchdowns. This week, three touchdowns. Hey, Robbie, going out like a G, man. See if we can bring home the Sun Belts. First conference championship in the conference championship game era, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to try to move on and get the first BCS bowl game win for Furman. Because we chunking it up. We calling all the rest of these games in the season wins. We already chunking them up. So you can see my boy Robbie on fire, man. Completed 60% of his passes, man. You already know he had that 272 doing exactly what we need of him. The running game, like I said, we went up against a pretty good run defense. But Riley was able to get 88 yards on 19 carries. That's pretty good, man. Almost five yards a pop. And Morris, the, the young boy, got 21 yards on the only carry he had. And no touchdowns on the ground. So, you know, this team plays pretty well on the run defense, baby. In On defense against the run, however you want to say it. In the passing game, my boy Robinson almost got 100 yards again, man. Five reception, 92 yards, no drop, one touchdown. And Jones had 39 on four reception to Anderson, man. Anderson stepped up for us huge, man. I believe that was two touchdowns for that kid. And the offensive line did a great job. And defensively, like I said, we didn't give up a touchdown. Only three points. Only field goals. So that's how they got the six points. So two sacks for Sanchez. Mayfield got one sack. Cutchin got one sack. And no interceptions for the squad. But, hey, the defense shut these guys up. Irby, arguably one of the best quarterbacks in the conference, didn't have anything to say today. So we chunk it up, and I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Hit that like button, that notification bell. Share it in your groups. Let your boys know how lit we are here at Furman, getting this thing going. But I appreciate you guys. Like always, hit that like button, that notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. Holla at your boy McGruff, baby. We out of here. Let's go.